In the remote rainforests of Indonesia, deep within one of the world's last great havens of biodiversity, lives the orangutan. Orangutans are the largest tree-dwelling species on Earth and play a central role in the forest ecosystem. With 97% of the same DNA as humans, they are highly intelligent creatures who experience feelings similar to their human cousins. Humans who threaten their survival by clearing and burning their forest for timber, minerals, and vast monoculture crop plantations. Those that survive are hunted as plantation pests or captured for the illegal wildlife trade. Orangutans and all rainforest life now face extinction. Since 1991, Borneo Orangutan Survival, or BOSS Foundation, has been helping the Indonesian government to protect orangutans and their habitat, rescuing them from areas of human-wildlife conflict and rehabilitating them, with the aim of one day returning them to the forest where they can live in safety and freedom. BOSS Foundation works in Kalimantan, the Indonesian side of the island of Borneo, operating two centers for orangutan rehabilitation. The largest center is located at Nyaru Menteng in central Kalimantan. The other center is located at Samboja Lestari in east Kalimantan. Together, these centers care for almost 600 orphaned orangutans. Orangutans are commonly rescued from deforested areas, mining sites, plantations, and villages. Those who are old enough to survive on their own can sometimes be relocated to safe areas of forest. But many young, orphaned orangutans end up in the illegal pet trade and are often kept in terrible conditions. Together with local government, a rescue team sets out to confiscate a baby whose mother was killed and bring it back to the center. This baby may suffer from trauma and poor health, requiring medical attention. A thorough evaluation determines if the newcomer has any contagious diseases that may infect other orangutans at the center. After three months in quarantine, the young orphan finally joins the others in the rehabilitation program. Orangutan mothers raise their offspring for eight years, teaching them the skills they need for a life in the forest. Without this vital bond, the babies are unable to survive on their own in the wild. At Boss Foundation, human surrogate mothers take on this role, preparing the orphans for a life beyond the rehabilitation center. The under two start in the nursery, where they learn to climb, make friends and explore, rarely straying too far from their babysitters. Then, in forest school, the orphans improve at foraging for food and making nests, learning directly from their caregivers. Just like children, they need help, and just like children, they won't go far without a regular meal. Orangutans who complete forest school graduate to pre-release islands, where they spend up to two years putting their skills to the test under the watchful eyes of the technicians. Detailed behavioral data is collected to determine when an orangutan is truly ready to go it alone. Release candidates are then taken to a quarantine facility to undergo a final health examination and have radio tracking devices implanted. Once the orangutans are given the green light, a release location and date are confirmed, and the team mobilizes. A long and arduous journey then begins. The release destinations are remote and difficult to access, pushing the team to the limit. The orangutans spend many hours in transit cages, unaware of how their lives are about to change. This is the culmination of years of hard work, but all hardship is forgotten when the orphans are finally let go back into the forest where they belong.
Finding forests that can support new orangutan populations is challenging. Most forests have been destroyed or claimed for other uses. Fortunately, Boss Foundation has secured the rights to release orangutans in three suitable habitats. Here, the rehabilitated orangutans can be monitored and behavioral data can be collected to see how they're adapting to their new surroundings. Local people are employed for their unique skills and knowledge of the area. And local communities surrounding the forest are informed about their new neighbors and how they can help protect them. Boss Foundation's monitoring data allows the team to assess the strengths and weaknesses of the reintroduction program, always looking for ways to improve. At the heart of the orangutan's plight, the destruction of its habitat. And as more and more babies arrive at the center, pressure on the facilities mounts. Many orangutans sit in cages, waiting their turn to be free. Others, too old or unfit for the wild, desperately require alternatives to the cages they occupy. New pre-release islands are sorely needed, as well as new protected areas and release locations. In 2009, Boss Foundation established ROY, or PT Restorasi Habitat Orangutan, and paid the Indonesian government 1.4 million US dollars to protect the forest at Keje Sewin in East Kalimantan. More than 86,000 hectares of pristine orangutan habitat, an area larger than Singapore, safe for the next 60 years and beyond. Boss Foundation also manages 309,000 hectares of peat swamp forest, an area twice the size of London, home to one of the largest remaining populations of wild orangutans on Earth. The Mawas Conservation Forest is a critical carbon reservoir that must remain intact. Failure to do so will not only impact the orangutan, but also the entire planet by contributing to climate change. Together with local communities, Boss Foundation is helping reforest degraded lands and re-wet degraded peatlands through blocking drainage canals, reducing the risk of habitat loss in the future. The Mawas Conservation Forest demonstrates what can be achieved when everyone works together. The people at Boss Foundation are dedicated to protecting the orangutan and their habitat. Never has orangutan conservation been more urgent and more globally relevant as we come to understand that the survival of this precious species is interconnected with our own. <laughs>